What's up, Vending Heads? I hope everyone's doing great. Now, for those of you that are new, my name is Carlos, and we started a family vending business from scratch with the help of our Facebook and YouTube vending friends. Now, if you love vending content, or if you're simply looking to start a vending business with your family, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on this journey, guys. We're gonna upgrade our best location because I need that candy machine that doesn't perform very well. And I need to move that machine to a new location that we got. So we're pulling machines from different locations and whatnot. So we had to build it. And that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be going to candy machines, buying some stuff that we need. We're going to go ahead and pull the machine, build the machine, place it, pull one, and replace the other one in a different location. All right, guys, let's go. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you stick to the end because I want to ask you guys something. All righty, everyone. So we are on our way to Candy Machines Warehouse. Let's go. So this happens every time. Every time we come to candy machines, we always get hungry and we come and eat. So now this time we're having lunch at Chick fil A. Mama, are you gonna eat your food first? Before you can play, did she just say okay? That's pretty cool how they do these mats right here. Oh, I have ketchup. Alright, so we just got done with candy machines, guys. The warehouse. Gladys went to the Carhartt store. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? You need to put that down <laughs> there. I'm in the parking lot. That's why I'm still recording. Oh my gosh. But now we're here to get some coffee. Do you guys ever drink? Uh, I mean, obviously, Starbucks is really popular. But, um. Oh, she feels sleepy. Is anybody. Does anybody have a beans and brews in the area? Did I skip the drive through? No, this is oh. it. Yeah, but we love beans and brews. I, I don't know if it's only a Utah thing or or not, but. Um. Um, can I get a small copper freeze, please, with the espresso and whipped cream? Of course, anything else for you. And then a large caramel uh, shallow, please. All right, ice. Get back to the hot ice or frozen. Ice. All right, what else for you? And that's it? Okay, I'll have that for you at the window. There you go. Can I also get my receipt, please? Yeah, of course. Gonna get them points, you know? Yeah. So this is what I get, guys. I know it's not black coffee. It's a little on the sweet side, but I enjoy it. They All make right. your, their own whip there, too. It's so good. So we got almost all the stuff that we need for the upgrade that we're doing. The only thing we'll be waiting for is some uh, sticky hands that I had to order, and they're going to ship them in and whatnot. But uh, they, uh, I almost upgraded to the Beaver 50 cent mechanism, but Rhino just came out with the new one where you insert them on the side. So Rhino came out with a new 50 cent mechanism and I went ahead and we're trying those. So I got two of those and I can't wait to show you. And if you guys are interested on getting those, you can go to cannonmachines.com, uh, their website. And you can also use 
um, our code. Code Valdez? Yeah. Valdez for a discount on any purchase that you need from there. Okay, so when we got back from Candy Machines Warehouse and getting all the stuff that we needed, I forgot to record and let you guys know. But anyways, we're back home. I got the machine ready and we're actually gonna go swap it out right now. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. All right guys, so that's what the machine looks like. So I already had this uh, stand. This is the home Rhino right here that we kinda got in the middle. So I had to buy this bracket. This machine we already had at the Outback location, I had to pull it because it was only making like four to five dollars every two months. But I got them an honor box, which is making around 20 bucks a week. So that was a good change for them. And this machine, I just bought, this one I had to buy brand new just to complete the, the triple. Um, so yeah, so this is a triple. We're gonna be doing Squishlands, the variety mix, obviously Nerd Gumballs and Sticky Hands. Shout out to my homie, Matt. Matt, you suggested those, I'm gonna give him a shot. And someone else from the Facebook group, so let's give him a go. And also guys, um, Rhino has always had a 50 cent mech, but this is the first time that they've had the dual set like that. Um, they've been out for, I wanna say about a year now, so they're not too new, but I'm gonna give them a try. And I'm also, I bought a beaver one to put it right next to it. Kinda put them head to head, see which one kinda lasts longer. I have a feeling it's gonna be beaver. Shouldn't give me any problems. I love this this mech. But anyways, just gonna just try it out, see how it goes. But okay, let's go swap them out and get it on location. Zara Zara Eating sugar Telling lies Open your mouth <laughs> Guys, so I got the location here at the Union Station um, That's where we're putting that new machine that we got Yeah, so I'm gonna go see if she's here. This restaurant's not open yet The door's cracked open, so There's a museum in here too. That's open on the weekends. And she's gonna let me put the machine right out here. Perfect traffic area. And it's an old building, but it's a museum with a restaurant inside. Should be a color station. Like I said, this restaurant's not open yet. Still working it, but hey, I love getting locations before they open. All right, so she's here. I'm gonna go back to the car, I'm gonna get the machine. Clean it up, load it up with some candy, and then I'll leave it there. And then once she's open, we'll have to, you know, I don't know, check on it, see if we gotta move it somewhere. But she told me she'd be moving it. So thanks for 
for sticking to the end, everyone. Now, I don't know if you've noticed it, but we changed our name. We changed it from Valdez Vending to Vending Heads. I hope you guys like it. Me and my family, we do. So with that being said, guys, we are closing in on our ne next milestone of hitting 500 subscribers. Now, we're from this point that I'm recording this, we're only eight subscribers away. From now until then, if anybody wants a Vending Heads vinyl that you can put in the window of your car or wherever you like, just uh, hit us up on Instagram on a private message. Reach out to us via email, and I'd be happy to send everyone and anyone that wants one. Once again, guys, thanks a lot for supporting us. See you guys in the next one.